fear God. I sat down and I said, let's pray. We stood up. Ladies and gentlemen, before then, there was a man I led to Christ. A young boy in school. The father was the head, was a headsman, head of these cattle in their area. They called him Alajitanko. So he got, gave me a gift his father brought. What was the gift? 1,500. I couldn't even hear it as a student. Because where am I going? But that day, when I was going for the birthday, my eyes went there and I wore it. When I walked into the birthday, all my classmates started laughing. They said, I had bad that without money. <laughs> but while I was praying, I noticed something like a wind. <sighs> the clothes were moving. And the plates fell down. The glass, boom. The young man, was, so he was shocked and he was angry. So some sisters gathered some of the, the rice, the grains, and pour them outside. Not up to five minutes, a sister screamed that we should come outside. We saw chickens dead because they ate from the food and died. If I had one suit, that breeze would not blow. Sometimes, God can tell you, don't put on that shoe. God can tell you, don't wear that shoe. You don't know why. But you are trying to match to av avoiding or is it color blocking now they call it? Color blocking. It's no more color riot. It's color blocking. You want to be up to date. But God says don't wear it. Sit down if you have a seat. Malarashandaba. Open my eyes. Lord, open my eyes. Luke 24, I think verse 31. The Bible said their eyes were open while he spoke with them. Second Kings 6, verse 17. The Bible says, Elisha prayed a prayer for his servant. He said, Lord, open his eyes. Why was Elisha not afraid when he saw enemies around? Men whose eyes are open are men of confidence. They are men of loquacious and voracious audacity. These are men that stand shoulder high because there is something they are seeing when you see men who look at the devil eyeball to eyeball and they are not bothered or not shaken it's because there is something they are seeing they are not seeing the physical things with the optical eyes why we look not on the things which are seen but on the things which are not seen for the things which we see are temporal but the one that physical eyes cannot see are internal am i speaking to abraham he said speaking to somebody speaking of abraham he said he looked forward towards a city whose builder and maker he looked forward so when when a uh, lot was making all kinds of noise abraham was not worried he was seeing a city when ishmael's issue came up abraham was in murdered he was seeing a city there is something i see that is why i do what i do if i refuse to stay in the same house with you don't blame me i have seen something if i don't eat from your plate do not blame me i have seen something you gave me a bottle of minerals i refuse to drink it i have seen something you see as you enter your car i refuse to enter your car i have seen something you gave me clothes to wear and you are putting me under pressure i refuse to wear the clothes i have seen something you gave me money and i rejected it I listen wait sit down sit down please sit down as you are standing now you are provoking some now now if if david saw it and others who were equal israelites didn't see it you can say there is a kind of partiality why will it be david that saw it 
nobody just has there is no accidental success every success is a concerted deliberate effort nobody became becomes rich by mistake I remember when we were small a young boy told me he said he said he's not going to go to heaven he's not going to go to hell I said where will you go he said he's going to commit sin that he will go to heaven but this, this is the way he will go to heaven he will pass hell to heaven I said how he said he's going to so commit sin and commit sin and commit sin that God will be angry that God will just throw him to the deeper part of hell they will just apply effort and enter heaven <laughs> and I said to him what makes you feel that where hell stops is where heaven starts he says it's like that too. after hell heaven so you commit sin God will throw you you throw you say you are wicked just carry you to the end when you get to the end you just put energy you just enter heaven and I said to him I don't know but I think heaven is on its own hell is on its own and growing up now I now know it's like that heaven and hell they are not close far far apart am I communicating why 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 was it David that saw it why will I live how can I live a life where my eyes are open number one if you study your Bible David was the only one just coming fresh from the wilderness others have been in battle for long David was just coming fresh from the presence of God the Bible said David said I kept my father's flocks a lion came a bear came I told them he was empowered and enabled by God in the wilderness he was coming it was the freshness of glory around him that sponsored his vision the anointing of yesterday cannot carry you for today just as the messes are new every morning the unction has to be new every morning if you have a car you need to change the oil if the oil stays for a long time it becomes stale am i correct the viscosity is gone when the viscosity is reduced or, or gone the performance is low you change oil to enable performance or to empower rather performance that is why when you come to church during the week it is called weekly service you come to be serviced when you service a car it performs many of you do sunday to sunday that is why you are weak because you are not serviced weekly service service me weekly if you are here only sunday tuesday mm, friday mm. except when papa announces he said there'll be communion church is jam i service true christianity is the christianity that does not please the pastor you're not interested in the pastor seeing you even some of them ministers don't come to weekly service and as i'm talking they're shaking their head yeah it's true appreciate 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 papa right on i'm not okada sometimes you don't understand sometimes just to be in service i have to chatter a flight do you know what it means to chatter a plane i have to chatter just because i don't want to miss a weekly service because i know the spiritual importance They'll say flight cancelled, this cancelled, as if it's called for a plane. We'll pay. And I'll rush down. Why? As I come, they go from strength to strength as they appear before him in Zion. I need to be serviced. Something needs to enter me. Something needs to come into my system. Service! It, was, it, it makes you fresh. 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 Fresh! There are certain meals. If you want to enjoy them, you must prepare them when they are fresh. Vegetable, fresh. Fresh fish. Huh? Fresh.
fresh. So you need to be fresh. He was coming from the presence fresh. Number two, why his eyes were open? He was not overwhelmed by the battle. He didn't allow the fear and the tension of the battle to consume him. The reason some cannot see is because they are consumed by the things happening around them. They are consumed by the problem. They are shaking. So their eyes cannot pick signals. I don't have a job. I don't have a job. I don't have a job. And you are swallowed up. Do you know that sometimes <laughs> Hallelujah <laughs> uh, <laughs> I was in Ethiopia at this Ababa and we <laughs> if you traveled through <laughs> Ethiopia and you you know normally they connect flights if you travel that country to that country Ethiopia, they always like people landing in their country. So at least if it's $100, you must drop something in their country. Nice country. They are watching me now. Nice people. <laughs> and we, we, they put every. It doesn't matter who you are. It doesn't matter who you are. They put you in a bus. If you're flying first class, they put all of you in a bus. If you're flying economy, they put you where they put you. <laughs> so they put everybody where in the bus. And the man, he, he was drunk. So he was driving. And there was an oncoming trailer. And the man swapped and let the script. Hey! And we avoided the trailer. But the lady was unconscious. You didn't hear me. The accident didn't happen again, oh, but she fainted. So we came down. I said, She's not coming down. We said, Leave her. She's sleeping. I said, From here to here, can somebody shout into sleep? Something happened. They shook and shook. And when they pour water, she jumped. He said, what happened? What happened? What happened there? She was overwhelmed. So many of us, when we are going through challenges, it overwhelms us. Little thing you are crying. Little thing you are crying. Say what? Say, I don't have a child. He's crying a prescription for fruitfulness. Oh. I don't have a child. 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 People are mocking me. People are mocking me. People are mocking me. Say, please, Pastor, just leave me. Let me cry. Let me just cry. It's my nature. When I go through something, I cry. You hear people just say, just, just allow me to cry. I'll be fine. Just let me cry it out. After you finish the crying, you still have no child. Jesus said, be your good chairs, not be your good tears. So just let me cry. It's my nature. In our family, that's how we survive. We cry. Especially my mom. That's the little I inherited from her crying. Don't worry, I'll be fine. Let me cry. <laughs> and they cry. They come and say, I feel okay now. After crying. People like to cry. If you go to Lagos, they hire people to cry. <laughs> Beaning everywhere. People are crying for, they, they're just crying that the man is dead and it's a woman that died. How can a man just die like this and leave us? They say it's a woman. It doesn't matter. He was behaving like a man. <laughs> people cry. Be overwhelmed in the midst of your battle. Have you discovered when the people of Israel are faced with trials and challenge? God will say, Fear not. In other words, do not allow the battle overwhelm you. You cannot see clearly if you are consumed by the spirit of the fight. You can't see. You are looking. Hey, hey, hey. Have you not had people say, Arm robbers came to the house? They shouted, Jesus, Jesus. The arm robbers still shot them. Because the Jesus was coming out of fear. Hey, Jesus, hey, the man knows you don't know what you are saying. But when they come, your legs are crossed. In the name of Jesus, I am on eagle's wings. Anytime you go through a challenge, the first thing you must do, do not let the challenge overwhelm you. Maintain your confidence. 
Have you seen when Rabshakeh came? He said, he said to him, he said to the king of Assyria, he said, where is the confidence wherein thou trusted? The first thing that destabilizes your enemy is your confidence. Their greatest concern, now write it this way, the greatest concern of your enemy is your confidence. You are walking. Some people were busy, some people were busy doing what they were doing one time on the way, on the road. I think they were robbers. And we spotted them. And my wife said, Only robbers are there, let's turn. I said, Turn here. Drive inside. Drive on. Eh? Only, you say what? Drive into them. You are robbing. You see a car coming. Other cars are parked. A car is coming. You should be wise to know there is something the car knows that you don't know. Am I communicating? One day, I was <laughs> I was sitting in the house of a pastor. Then I went to preach for Scripture Union. 2009 so a pastor put me in his house it was a retreat you know scripture union they are very scriptural very scriptural people they anything they give you you eat anywhere they put you you stay if you refuse you are proud <laughs> so they gave me, i went to preach there so i was in the house i had boy boy i got shot and some boys knocked on the door he said johnson Suleiman, come out come out so i was alone and i was getting gone shot and they were standing by the door. I gained my confidence. And then I shouted, fictitious names that don't exist. Emeka, James, Emmanuel, Jambu, stand up, stand up, stand up. These boys are here. Get your gun, get your gun. Stand up, stand up. When they head up to seven names, pew! Those names don't exist. Fictitious names. I just started calling all the male names that went through my mouth. Yeah, get your gun, get your guns. The boys are here. Get your gun. Don't let them run. Don't let them run. Get your gun. Stand up. Pshum. <laughs> as soon as they left, I said, oh boy, oh, what am I doing here? <laughs> Fit. Was Emeka there? Was John Boone there? Was Emmanuel there? Nobody. As far as you were concerned physically, I saw angels. Those were the ones I was giving others, calling them Nigerian names. Angel Mike has become a Mecca. Angel Gabriel is Jumbu. <laughs> hey! <laughs> With gone, they took off. I waited till like seven, eight. The people that came said, there were robbers in the street. Oh. They said they were asking of your name. They were asking of you. I said, do they think I brought money here? I came to preach. And they said, what happened? I said, no, don't worry. My boys chased them. Eh? We had them. I said, don't worry. They are gone. They are gone. They are gone. But please relocate me. Take me out of here. <laughs> because the next time they come, they may come and not have bullets. <laughs> <laughs> Audacity. Now, do you know at that moment... If you are overwhelmed, you will know what to do. Some robbers can match a man and go, lie down. You lie down. But there's audacity that comes on. You say, sorry, I can't lie down. You are in charge of that battle. Number three, why was his eyes open? Study your Bible. In chapter, in verse 39, he had just rejected the weapons of Saul. Saul put his garment on him and gave him a sword. I will say, David, say, I can't move. I have not proven this. Whatever you have not proven can bring proofs. He said, I have not proven this. I refuse the weapons of the flesh. Many cannot see because they depend on fleshly weapons. I cannot go further with the weapons of the flesh. And as soon as David rejected those weapons, his eyes open. Child of God. You have trusted too much in the weapons of the flesh. I pity people who trust in their education. Have you not seen professors who are speaking English and they can't pay rent? Look, look at the professors. You see them surreptitiously, assumptuously, conspicuously. And he's striking. Very educated. I've seen people with master's degree 
who are teachers? Expertise. Experience. But produce nothing. The weapons of the flesh can't help you. It doesn't take beauty to marry. You. Many ugly people are housewives now. Very ugly. If you think it's beauty, no problem. Some of you have changed your steps. You are not counting. Some have changed steps. All kinds of catwalk. People are walking like aircraft that want to take off. Like aircraft that you see people. Their back leg doesn't touch the ground. It stop. Asakpamege. What brings a husband is not catwalk, it's network. Some are standing. The, I, I, I've seen this over, over the time. So people cannot stand straight. Say stand. Stand where? Can you just stand? Stand. What happened to standing like this? No. Say, ah, Papa, somebody have to stand with effects now. Effects. Very abnormal generation. In the days. We are parents were time rapper. There were more marriages. Than now. When people trust in their expert. Some people sit down 45 minutes. They'll wake up, wake up, make up rather. They'll clean it. They'll start again. Put foundation, put foundation, put foundation, put foundation, put foundation. Plaster it, plaster it, plaster it, plaster, plaster. Wire the house, wire it, wire it, wire it, wire it. Paint it, paint. Is it not foundation? If you put foundation, you must plaster. You must wire. They remove it. They lay foundation, lay foundation. They take it up to DPC level. DPC, DPC. Take it up. Linter, 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 linter. Roofing, roofing, roofing. They now plaster. That's one to use some paper. Plaster. like that a husband that comes to you because he saw a makeup will leave when he sees a better makeup the weapons of the flesh can't help you a pastor was preaching in worry all of a sudden he said thus said the lord there is a young girl here your name is faith up to 20 faiths ran out faiths all of them ran out the one girl was coming out his name was Faith, so he was coming out. So the person preaching was a guest speaker. You know, so he didn't know the church people well. So this guy was coming out. Then the host pastor now passed back and now blocked the guy. Not, not be you that they call. <laughs> Over Sabi, anywhere you want to enter, turn back. The guest, ah, okay, she talks. But my name is Faith before. Oh. <laughs> she was good. And the prophet said, This faith I'm talking about is an imbecile. So the guy turned back. I mean, so <laughs> they let the girl come. She came out. And they said, the man said, Ah, ah, toss here the Lord faith. Your wedding shall be the talk of the town. Everybody scatter laugh. Normal faiths are not married. Is it? Those normal ones trust in their self. When you get to that point where you do not know how it's going to happen, you may not see the wind, you may not see the rain, but the valley shall be full of water. It's not by might, it's not by power, but by my spirit. Sit down. Are you getting something? The stones that we have picked. The Bible said that we have five smooth code labra god can pick you raw but does not leave you raw smoothing you and until god smoothens you he cannot use you ayana morosias god that's just all the shaking you are going through now is to smoothing you Smooth stone. 
What is five? Five is the number of grace. You can't fight the battle of life without grace. Ah, your husband left you. That's part of the smoothening. You waited for the baby. Till now the baby is not coming. It's part of the smoothening because great children don't come on time. VIPs only come when everybody is waiting. You must expect them. Children that become stars, you expect them. They not come. You wait for them. You wait. So when they come, you can say, welcome. You wait for them. So you're going through any form of delay, you are a VIP. Ay, 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 ay. God can pick you rough. But it does not use you rough. Was he smoothened the stone? You study your Bible. The Bible says he took the stone from the shepherd's bag. Number one, how to be smoothened as the stone that will kill Goliath? From the shepherd's bag. The bag is the place where private things are kept, secret things are kept. Who is the shepherd? As, uh, Psalm 23 verse 1 rather the Lord is my John chapter 10 11 the good shepherd laid down his life for the sheep so when it talks about the shepherd's bag it's not just talking of the presence of God because God is the shepherd it's talking of the secret place of God if you must be a smooth stone you must stay in God's secret place for he that dwelleth in the secret place of the most high shall abide under the shadow of the almighty i will say of the lord is my refuge and my fortress my god in him will i trust a secret place god is always present to those who live in his presence God is always present to those who live in his presence. Number two, don't forget the first thing the stone must be taken from the shepherd's bag. And number two, he said he took the stone out of the brooks. Ephesians chapter 5 verse 26. Let me say this before I go further. The brook is the place where water gathers. Yeah? Where water gathers, the flow of water it's called the brook. Now, the, when the Bible says it took it from the brooks, Ephesians 5, 26 say, with the washing of water, which is the word of God. So water in scripture speaks of the word. So if it took the stone from the brooks, it means the stone was made from the word. If God must smooth in you, you must live in the word. I didn't just say study. I said stay there. Live inside. When it comes to healing, I live in certain scriptures. When it comes to prosperity, I live in certain scriptures. Am I talking to somebody? Comes to divine protection, I live in certain scriptures. Longevity, I have seven pillar scriptures that guarantee my life. Live as a believer, there must be a scripture you stand on. This one is your own. You personalize it. Years ago, Hebrews 13 verse 8 became a scripture that changed my life. It's the same yesterday, today, and forever. If it did it before, can do it again. Scriptures that guarantee a soldier was fighting a war. War is uniform. And he put a New Testament Bible on his pocket. And they shot him. And the bullet stopped in Psalm 91. A man that lives in the world. What is the scripture that guarantees your security? One scripture. The devil knows that you know this scripture. You stand on it. You know. Ladies and gentlemen, there is nothing as important as what you know. Don't play with what you know. I told you what Bruce Lee said. Bruce Lee was a martial arts expert who died in the 70s. He said, I'm not afraid of 10,000 different kicks. I'm afraid of a man who knows how to kick one kick 10,000 times. 
nothing like what you know. Am I talking to somebody here? The word of God must be the pillar of your life. If you study your Bible, when David brought down Goliath, the Bible says, and there was no sword in his hand. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. You know, some, someone, someone thinks that when the Bible says there was no sword in his hand, it means you don't need a sword. There was no sword in his hand. There was sword in him. He was sword himself. He didn't need to carry what he was. There's a level of God's word that you know that when you communicate, you communicate the word. When you reply situations, is the word. You walk into that exam hall and say, I shall be the head. After reading, oh, shall be the head. Oh, I shall be the head. I remember then when we were coming to school during the exam, myself and two other persons, you see students touching our heads. <laughs> so I say, where are you sitting? Side the back. I host, I host this side. I host that side. Anywhere you sit, you see people around you. And you have this audacity. You can preach to them, they will listen. But today, uh, that natural doesn't like me. In him, he carry over. In fact, he doesn't like me. And me too, I don't like him. Hate him if you like. Pass his course. Your father didn't send you to school to fall in love with lecturer. Pass. As a young lady, I said, why don't you pass this man's course? He said, I don't like him. I said, me, I don't like him too, but I like his course. Because I need it for my next level. Pass! Once you are speaking in tongues, speak. listen, this exam will be the best for you. The longer the amen, that's what determines how many A's. Your, your, your addiction to the word. Hear this. Your addiction to the word is what determines your addition in this word. Luke chapter 5, the Bible says, and they pressed on him to hear the word. When you put pressure for the word, you gain pleasure in this world. Put pressure, 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 pressure. The word must work. The word must work. The word must work. The word must work. Addicted. 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 The Bible says the sons of Merari were gathered until the time the Urim and the Tumim came and they were separated. It doesn't matter. Everybody can speak in tongues, but it's the word level that separates us. Separates the boys from the men unto us. A child is born, children are born, but sons are given. Sons are those who have given themselves to what they believe in. They have given themselves by way of sacrifice. Am I talking to somebody? They have given themselves to the world. Studying is not a gift, it's a discipline. That we may give ourselves to the ministry of the word and prayer. It means that we may pray for the ministry of the world to come or not. You give yourself. To study discipline, I studied at 2 a.m. before I started praying. I studied at 2 a.m. Stud, not study, study the Bible. I don't study the Bible nine chapters, I study the Bible in versions. I can finish Jude, Philemon, finish like that in King James. I'll pick it up in NIV, finish the same thing. I'll pick it up sometimes in Good News. So by the time I read three versions automatically if you are reading three chapters each you have read nine chapters that's what you say but as far as i'm concerned i've read three chapters but in three versions so i have a deeper understanding of what the bible is saying bible you don't know prayer you don't know even school book you don't that's why in the midst of challenges I'm not shaking. Paul said, I know in whom I have believed and I'm persuaded 
when I walk abroad, I walk with springs under my legs. I have said, ye are gods. I move like gods. The color of his skin doesn't bother me. A young man came to me and said, look at snow. Is there snow in your country? I said, very well. Nigeria? I said, yes. I said, everybody has snow. He said, where? I said, in the fridge. You want to intimidate me? With loquacious audacity. With springs. I should be shaking because there's snow in your country. Am I communicating? You are confident. When you go and get a job, you go for a job interview, they check your confidence. They give you questions to throw your balance. When you go to embassy to get a visa, let me give you a trick now. They check your confidence. If you are shaking, they know you are not coming back. <laughs> a young boy, a young boy went to the father and they said to the, 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 the young boy, he was, was taking the boy for schooling. They said to the young boy, are you going to come back? He said, my father is taking me there to school. They said, you like football? He said, yes. They said, what club do you like? Premier League? He said, no, Eimba. They said, give this one a visa, he will come back. <laughs> But when you are shaking, you go to the embassy, walk there with your hands in your pocket. And the, whatever greets you, good morning, say good morning. Say, how do you do? I'm fine. How do you do too? He asks you, you ask him. Your hands in your pocket. You want to go to the US? Yes. Why are you going? I have an invitation. See, see, see. They are looking. Uh, forget those machines they are computing. That suspense is to check your confidence. As they are doing that, they are, they are looking at you with one eye. They're looking at you. Some of you are shaking. Blood of Jesus. 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 Say sorry. You can't jump. Oh, this is my first time. Oh. One time they asked me, they said, they said, I think I was going for a visa renewal. They said, mm, if we give you this visa, are you sure you're going to come back? I said, if you have a job for me, they will stay. If you have a job you are giving me to do there, I'll stay. I said, that's too arrogant. I said, you ask me an arrogant question, so I give you an arrogant reply. Why would you ask me if I will leave my country and go and stay? Abroad? What's there? Please, I've, I've been here for a long time. Just renew this thing and let me go. It's okay. Calm down. Calm down. Calm down. Calm down. <laughs> calm down. Calm down. But some of you are shaking. <laughs> my papa said house. Everybody said something. Your legs are shaking. <laughs> Say, I don't think I can give it. Oh, please. 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 I scan on the word. As you walk into class, when a court is threatening you, threaten him. A court is threatening you, open his eyes, you open your own. I will deal with you. You are too small. Am I talking to somebody here? I'm on live television. It's not everything I'll tell you. I've seen threats face to face and I come out and I reply. And this will happen. My wife held me. A man was bragging I said, on this step aside. This one is man to man. Let me reply him. As a step, this is no woman matter. Sit down. Sit down. He said, my husband, I know you. You will answer. I said, thank God you know me. So just sit down. I came out. I looked at him. If in five minutes you are still here, anything you see you carry. That's how men talk. Am I talking to somebody here? Audacity. And all this is a function of how much of the word of God you have inside you. That's what gives you boldness. It's how much of the word of God. Because I know the Bible says, the hair of my hair is numbered. And God, he has the number. He didn't give out the password. It's numbered. You can't touch my skin. I have been around nations of the earth. I have, I have had crusades in witchcraft lands. Witchcraft lands. I've seen deliverance. You cast out a demon from somebody. The demon enter a car and start driving it. You see the car moving. No driver. So if people are talking about deliverance, I laugh. You have seen raw deliverances. But some of us choose to go for the side of the world. When we talk of pure deliverance, because I knew that your emphasis on the word is what guarantees on unlimited deliverance. When I started ministry, the first for the past for the first five years of my ministry, it was deliverance. That's what I was doing. Deliverance was my focus. 
If I go anywhere, you must vomit. If you don't vomit, you are not free. As I go to the altar. The demon is still there. Oh yeah. So I say, vomit. Oh yeah. Destroy chairs. I remember that we used to call it anointing that breaks the chairs. By the time chairs are broken, they say, yeah, benches. It was benches those days. Like, pa, pa, pa. Say, yes, God has moved. Well, now we, now we understand that there are people that have broken several benches and not free. Then, I used to, thank God you remember. Then, if I preach, there must be confession. You must confess as a witch. My emphasis was not until I discovered they will confess today. Next Sunday, they will confess again. The other week, they will confess again. I was not getting tired. And God said to me, the word. I went, to, I went abroad where in the council hall, I went to an African country and I saw a vision. In that vision, if you go to the north, you can see certain people who are crippled. They are, they are big body-wise, but they are small down. And I saw that revelation. I said, God, what is this? He said, these are your people. See, so you have fed them with gifts, gifts, gifts. They cannot run for themselves. I said, Lord, what do I do? He said, get back and begin to give the word. Then, before I preach, I prophesy. If you are around that, you understand. It's before I preach, I prophesy. God said to me, preach first. From that day, I started preaching. When I did it the first service, people say, ah, he never said something. He blessed you, he never said she again. I waited till I finished <laughs> first time, second time. Then the market people who were not ready to serve God, those who were hungry for God. If you are a member of this church, you will know it's a place where we celebrate the revelation of the world. God said to me, Build your church on revelation. There are many churches around the world that will not stand. You can't grow like that. Number three, and then I'll pray. The stone was smooth. If you study your Bible, it was one stone taken out of other stones. One stone that was taken in the midst of other four stones that speaks of fellowship five stones we assembled one stone was taken from the midst ladies and gentlemen there are certain prayers that can be answered when you pray alone at home it can only be answered when you come to the midst of the brethren there is no provision for one there is only provision for two or three he didn't say if one shall agree. Say if two or three corporate anointing. There are certain things that are going to happen here today as we gather together to call upon the Lord. There are certain challenges that will go. Certain obstacles that will go. Certain limitations that will go. Certain struggles that will go. Certain struggles that will be broken. How good and pleasant it is for brethren to dwell together in unity. If two or three shall agree as touching anything in my name on earth, they shall be done by my Father, which is in heaven. Stand on your feet. For every Goliath, there is a stone. Are you ready? We are going to take one prayer. Open my eyes. I refuse to walk in spiritual blindness. Someone has a question. Why do we sing? When we lift our hands to Jesus, Hallelujah. what do we really mean? Someone may be wondering, Thank you, Jesus. Why we sing a song? At times 
Jesus we may be crying But not is really wrong Someone ask a question Someone ask a question Why do we Why do we sing When we lift our hands What do we really mean What do we really mean Someone may be wondering Someone may be wondering Why we sing a song why we sing a song At times we may be crying At times we may be crying Not is really wrong And not is really wrong oh, I sing because I'm happy Because I'm free I sing because I'm free He's hiding from the sparrow He's hiding from the sparrow That's the reason why That's the reason why I sing, I sing because I'm happy I sing because I'm happy because I'm free. I sing because I'm free. He's high. He's high. He's on a spiral. That's the reason why. That's the reason why. One more time. I sing because I'm happy. I sing because I'm happy. Because I'm free. I sing because I'm free. He's high. He's on a spiral. He's high. He's on a spiral. That's the reason why. 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 Say, my father, my father. My father, my father. In this season of revelation, I reject spiritual blindness. Open your mouth and fire prayer. I reject spiritual blindness. In this season of revelation, I reject blindness. That's the reason why I see. 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 In Jesus' name. I have a message for you. God said, This is your year. J'ai dit que cette année c'est ton année. I have three messages for you. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. I have three messages for you. God said you have cried enough. Yes. Thank you, Daddy. And you will not cry again. Thank you, you Amen. God is telling me to... Can you keep quiet? God is telling me to tell you the first message is about a miracle job. Thank you, The second message God says I should give to you because you have seen all the pain you are going through is a miracle child. No. This woman saw it yesterday night. She said she saw me with two babies. Put, is that what? She told me that she saw me with two babies. I slept with her inside. Give her the mic. You said what? What did you see? When I was sleeping with hey, her. Hey, hey, stop that. Jesus, that you when I was sleeping with her. I saw two babies, a, a baby girl and a baby boy. And when I was saw, that? I, that was yesterday night. And I saw her crying. When I, when I looked to the face, I said, hello, who is this? The light now flashed her face. I said, I, I see this woman. Does that mean she don't have a child? I don't have too well. We just met ourselves here. So when they break, I called her. I said, it's, you have been crying. But the Lord said, I should tell you that your baby is in your hand. Okay. Did you discuss with me? No, 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 no. Daddy. Did you discuss with anybody here? No, 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 no. Did you daddy. share with anybody? I don't even know her. You don't even know her. But that's the message, the second message I have for you. Because I saw a baby. I will pray with you. Because, you know, Bible says the gift of the Lord make it rich and added no sorrow. The power that comes to remove. If you enter, they will remove. If you enter, they will remove. 
Huh? Yes, sir. Now the 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 but this time, yes, it will enter, it will stay. Yes. Number three, I should pray for your sisters. For the, no. the same problem, all of you. The same problem. The same problem. Yes, is problem. it true? The same pro But today, oh, it is over. Go. Go outside. Can I pray for you, sir? The time has come. I saw a journey. I saw you traveled one time. Are you hearing me? Yes, sir. Anything you do always come empty handed. It doesn't matter how much you put together to start anything. If you don't enter depths, you 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 if you don't enter into depths, it will become a problem of of accusations. Problem accusation. But today God says I should tell you. Mais Dieu me dit, dit by the power of the Holy Spirit. Par la puissance Saint Esprit. All that you have lost. Tout ce que tu as perdu. Is restored. Et restauré. And God is going to intervene in your life concerning. I see a problem with a lady. Come, come out. Dieu intervient dans ta vie. Tu as un problème avec une fille. Why? What's the problem you have with Chinese people? Le problème que tu as avec les Chinois. I saw, I saw Chinese. You know Chinese? Je veux les Chinois. I saw. Chinese, I saw material, material. something they are, they are supposed to sell. I don't understand because because can I? I saw Chinese people. The Chinois. I saw a company like Energy or Energy. That's my company, sir. That's my company, sir. An enterprise energy. Who is flagging? Flaggy. That's my name, sir. Flaggy. That's my name, sir. Flaggy. Flaggy. Yes, sir. Jack. Yes, sir. Jack. Come. Oh, there is a contract. A contract that was given to you, but I'm seeing a woman sitting on the contract. Qui est donné une femme assise sur ce contrat. This is big money. The woman is sitting, and she say until they carry her up. La décision qu'on enlève. Nothing will happen. Rien ne se produira. Afin qu'on enlève. But as I stand up, comme je me lève, she stand up. Elle se lève. You see what? I have seen it. I have physically today. I have seen it. So you I, see it on television. Yes, I don't know that it's like this. I don't know. Clap for Jesus. Acclamé pour le Seigneur Jésus. Who is angry with you? Qui est fâché contre toi? Home. Pour ta maison. They are fighting you. Te combat. That's true, sir. I saw a home. I saw a problem. Yes, sir. Problem That's maison. true, sir. Come. Viens ici. Wait for me. Attends-moi. Le colo brocha. Can I talk to you? Thank you, sir. Je te I parle. saw Thank you, sir. idolatry. J'ai vu l'idolâtrie. In the family you come from. I saw idolatry. It's true, sir. There's a particular, particular dream that you always have. Anytime it appears, you are climbing to becoming what God wants you to be. This dream will show itself. And when it shows up like that, you start from square one. It's true, sir. What I said is true. But today, there's Amen. deliverance coming. Amen. 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 Sir. Amen. Sir. Stand there. Tenez-vous là. There's a woman. Il y a une femme. That took your right leg to the covo. Qui a pris votre your right leg. Votre pied droit. There's a woman that took it to the covo. Dans un couvent. And there's a problem. Il y a un problème. Even now, that even this is my right leg. For Let over me see it. Yes. For over seven years now, the leg will go, will come back, will go. Will you are wearing trousers. How did I know there is something with your right leg? Comment est-ce qu'il y a un problème avec ton pied droit? Come out. The woman, the, the, your right leg, you are seeing it physically here, but it's in the coven. Ton pied droit est dans un coven. You are scrubbing with it, scrubbing, scrubbing the ground. On la if it appears, appears that you are almost treated, it will come back. If it appears you are almost treated, it will come back. Yes, sir. Appears you are almost treated, it will come back. Yes, sir. Plus tu traites, plus le mal revient toujours. Do you know? One day you were sitting down somewhere when this pain, you feel pain. You are sitting down. In work, when you were working, ah, you feel pain travail. on that leg. You are sitting douleur. down. Who is he? Is your husband? Yes, sir. You are sitting down somewhere. You feel pain. Pain. 
pain. The douleur. This place I'm sit see you sitting now is where you are walking. It's, it's like a gate. Yes, like security. bank, like access. Or yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's what I'm working on. I'm a security man. Security. Security. And that's security bank. man. Yes, sir. Where? Well, access bank. Access bank. Yes, sir. Access bank. Now he's clapping. <laughs> because I saw that. Je l'ai vu. The leg. One time you felt pain. Yes, sir. You held your leg. Yes, sir. You told your second, you are coming. Yes, sir. You are coming. Yes, sir. This is your colleague. I'm seeing that your colleague too. That was as he was going on. What's going on? You, they were both calling you somewhere, 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 somewhere. Yes, sir. That's my name, sir. That's my name, sir. I'm somewhere. I'm somewhere. I'm somewhere. Turn. Yes. Turn. Turn your back. Turn, turn. I'm seeing two more names behind. I'm seeing Johnson. I'm seeing Okereke. Yes, sir. Okereke. It's my name, sir. What's your name? Samuel Okereke Johnson. Who is Miracle? It's my daughter, sir. One. Only one. Only one child. Only one child. Who is Mary? Mary. Yeah. Mary. Yeah. Raise your two hands. Lève tes deux mains. I see something, madam. J'ai vu quelque chose, madame. They don't want both of you to have other children. On veut pas que vous ayez les deux autres enfants. No, it's a problem because. C'est un problème. You. Parce que toi. When you are ready. Quand tu es prêt. She's not ready. Il n'est pas prêt. When you want it, she doesn't want it. Yes, sir. When she wants it, you don't want it. Yes, sir. It's true, sir. Quand elle veut, toi, tu ne veux pas. Why is it that it's that part I mentioned that she fainted? Or that part she didn't collapse? Women. The farm. That is the part that touches her. C'est cette partie qui la touche beaucoup. The wanting part. That's the part that touches her. Merosha Calabra. But today is your day of deliverance. Ah. Do you know Ohonfi? 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 Yes, I'm from Ohonfi. Son village. Your time has come. Wait for me. Can I talk to you, sir? Can I talk to you? Yes, sir. Monsieur. Two of you. Vous deux. This year. Cette année. Isaac has come. Isaac est venu. Ah. Oh. You are not even responding to what I'm saying. This year, because I saw Parce que vu. coming together was a battle. Oui, Everything you had, combat. nothing. Vous rien, mais non. Are you hearing me? Yes, sir. There was nothing, no money, no help. No help. It's help. like you entered single, solo. Yes, sir. And the battle has entered and extended to fruitfulness. This year, the en God that remember Isaac, Le Dieu que se Isaac has remembered you. Wait for Amen. me. Wait for me. Wait for me. Wait for me. Alaba kalabo shondo lobos. Bria kosha talaba. Zima. Pick him up. Is your brother? Stand up. You said? I cannot see. I cannot see. You are from where? Cameroon. I cannot see. All of a sudden, my eye just go Can blind. I pray for you. Yes, man of God. This is why I'm here. It's okay. This is us. It's okay. This is us. It's okay. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, hey.